Hello guys, good evening, welcome to your class. Uh, today is Thursday, for us it's Friday. How are you guys doing, Emma and Joel? So how's everything? Hello, well, everything is good. Good evening, welcome. So thank you so much for connecting on time. It's already 8.01. And uh, well, today we're going to start our class and um, let me see, let me start sharing. So let me see, what did we talk about yesterday? Who remembers? What did we say yesterday? What did we study? What did, what, um, did we bring first? Uh-huh, Emma? We were studying past perfect. It was perfect, very good. So yesterday we talked about past perfect, right? And well, that was yesterday's class. And today uh, I would like to start by asking if you have any questions in regards um, the class, the, I mean, the um, exercises on the platform or are we doing okay? No questions. Nope, fine. So far, so good. Yeah, it's clear to me. Clear to you, right, to hear that. What about the other ones? No questions. No questions, all good, all, all nice, all right. Okay, so no problem then. Well, guys, we are going to start with our um, class and this is session 13, okay? Uh, then, Let's see, this is session 13 and then we're going to finish uh, section four, what a story. And we've been talking about stories and we have talked about stories and also anecdotes. And yesterday we were talking about past perfect activities which take place right before our simple past. Today we're going to continue practicing past perfect because I understand this topic uh, you know, sometimes might be a little bit uh, easy, but um, maybe sometimes it's confusing in the in the way when we want to um, use it in context. So let's use it this way with this, the following um, options. We didn't talk about this yesterday and it's not that much different, but uh, we need to go over this based on the instructions on the video. So we have a negative statements, okay? So negative statements is for today. And we're gonna start with this uh, really uh, basic stuff, which is our formula, okay? Subject, hadn't, past participle and complement. Uh, can you help me please, Emma, by reading the example? This one? This one? I I hadn't finished my work, so I couldn't leave work at the time. Thank you. You read the second one. Thank you so much. I hadn't finished my work, so I couldn't leave work, right? And the one... Oh, sorry. I can read it if you want, the first one. I want. <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay. I hadn't looked my locker. Hmm. Great, if you remembered yesterday, we made a list of things that we had done, uh, you know, before a specific time by noon, we said. Now, um, what about today? What about if we start talking using our ideas and let's set now um, what a later time, let's say by 7 p.m., by 7 p.m. today. Uh, so what had you done? Okay. So maybe open your mic and start talking with me. What hadn't you done? I'm sorry, it's negative now. Hmm. What are some things that you hadn't done before this time at seven? I'm thinking about me at seven, I hadn't eaten. <laughs> I hadn't eaten my dinner yet. Uh -huh. So what about you guys? What are some things that you, so we can have the whole day. Open your mic and make some negative statements. 
I'm gonna give you two minutes the most. Well, in my case, at 7 p.m., I haven't checked the platform. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh -huh. Let's see. So at that time, you hadn't uh, checked the platform. Okay, I can see. Now, um, anybody else, one example. Jeffer, so what's your case? Uh, but 7 p.m., I hadn't finished my homework. Mm -hmm. From university? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Anybody else? One more participation? Think about those things that we have we hadn't done, you know, before seven. Me teacher. Uh-huh. Yes. Thank you. Okay, I hadn't lost my cool this day. It was very pacific. <laughs> okay, I can see. Great. So today was relaxing. Is, is your day off or, or what? But you just decided to take it easy today. It just was a, a lazy day, but I did work. Oh, you worked. Okay. I see. Anybody? Emma, I saw your hands. Mm -hmm. yeah, before seven, I hadn't prepared my coffee. <laughs> okay, great, very good. Guys, I want you to please practice with me. I got some activities to practice the past perfect. And uh, so we're gonna start by solving each of these statements. I got some like, kind of like few. So let's work on this. Let me erase. And now we have, one second idea before I, I share with you the ideas I'm telling you about. We also can make questions and the questions we can make follow this formula. I know it's not, it's not new for you, but then I want you to think about possible questions. Now, WH word had plus subject plus plus participle and complement. So how you study English before taking this class, this is an open uh, or just no question, I'm sorry. And then where, how you studying this before taking this class, that's an open question. So whenever we have the WH word, we are referring to an open question. And whenever we don't have this, it's simply a just no question, right? So can you do me a favor now? Can you create one, exam one question of each? Try to maybe use any like personal information and um, ask anybody in this classroom, this virtual class, we are, as of now, let's see how many, like 10 people connect. You can even ask me if you would like to. So think about these possible questions. I will give you two more minutes for this. Now questions, please. Questions. Did you say yes and not questions, yes. right? Yeah, 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 Emma. Ask me a question. Okay. Mm. I don't think you need to um, think about it. Hey, well, had you danced uh, yesterday? Hmm. Because of, of that, of the time expression you are using yesterday, um, I need to, if you're gonna use the past perfect, 
you need to change yesterday, the word yesterday, because yesterday is a simple past action. Emma. Maybe. So, John, uh, had you danced? And then? And in a specific time. Right. Maybe you For can example. say. Uh -huh. Sorry, Emma, go ahead. No, 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 if you can tell me an example. Huh, I see. Okay. I want you to think about it. <laughs> it's okay. I know. Maybe I was just trying to see the, the scenario, right? And I'll, maybe you can say, have you danced before the party started? No, Mace. Now you give me a more input, right? Now I know there was a party and the dancing action or dancing activity should have happened before this party. So that, that one is, is great. Now um, think about some other, please, and provide me with these examples. Yes, no questions and also um, close ended questions. Uh, yes, no, I mean open questions and yes, no questions. Anybody else? Maybe you can think about another one, Emma. Anyone? Teacher. Yes. Yeah, I will try this one. Have you worked in another company before working at English Corporativo? Okay, that's a good one. Uh, yes, and the answer is yes, right? Yes, I had. You reply with the same, um, with the same uh, auxiliary verb. Good, that's a good one. It makes a lot of sense what you're asking. This is perfect. What else? What, sorry, what ask? Uh, I have a question, but I think it's similar like Jose Peña. Mm -hmm. What work have you before becoming a teacher? <laughs> I was, uh, no, honestly, uh, when I turned 18, my first job was in a call center. I worked there, like, I think I told you, like, quite a lot, a lot of years or like nine years and, but the thing is that i was uh, jumping from one call center to another mm -hmm. a spanish call center or english Eng call center? english i worked for okay. um at&t for uh at and is for this company teleperformance sykes in sales and technical support i worked for tog that's that was email and oh. chat you know many good Good and bad experiences, you know. Almost all call center. No, because I, I didn't, I haven't, because I don't know if I'm going to work. I haven't worked for um, Atento. No, I haven't worked for uh, Concentrix. I haven't. I just applied, but then I said no, because I just wanted to work a part-time and they, and they didn't want part-time, you know, uh, employees. So I didn't. I get it, I didn't want. And um, yeah, so that was my job. But there was a job, this is really interesting. When I, when I was in, in high school, when I was in high school, one of my teachers offered me to work with him and he is in charge of marketing. And he used to print all these flyers from Pizza Hut, from McDonald's. And he asked me to hand in these flyers. So I, I was that guy who was, uh, you know, standing at the traffic lights and giving these flyers, you know, at noon. That was, you know, really, really, um, I don't know, that makes me value things now because it's really typical. When you see people handing flyers, you know, just get them, please get them because that's their job. And some people, it's, you feel really bad, like, because I remember those experiences when uh, somebody, I, mean, I would go like, okay, here you have, uh, I mean, like politely, right? And then they would say, mm, take that thing. And they, they say these you know, bad words. And mm -hmm. That's really offensive. So that was my first job. And now you, that you asked me, you just connected me to, oof, like 17 years ago, approximately. And okay, one more question. Thank you for asking. I, anybody else? Any other questions? Pass perfect, please. No more questions. Now, I want you to think 
about the following. We're gonna go one by one. I know we're gonna, we have plenty of time and I want to hear your ideas for this activity. So fact or fiction? Fact, not the, not the bad word, fact. Fact or fiction, okay? I'm gonna provide you with one example and then you're going to go one by one to help me with this, okay? I walked into class, but I didn't recognize anyone. What can a fact be? And what can a fiction be, okay? So I'm going to think about two possible answers and I want to use past perfect. Let me provide you with this example. I got it for you right here. So the explanation is the fact I had walked into the wrong class. That's why I didn't recognize anyone. And a fiction can be, I had lost my memory. Got it? So think about two explanations. One that is a fact, one that is fiction. So fiction is something imaginary, okay? So let's work. Everybody start working on number two. Try to follow the, the example. Number two goes like this. I took all the money out of my bank account and I gave it to the charity. Fact and fiction. Give you two minutes. Start thinking about it. Past perfect. Come on, go ahead, please. When you have your answer, you can open your mic or send it to a chat. I would love to hear you speaking. Okay, I think it's time. So let's start sharing, guys. Um, number two, any volunteer, read the statement and provide me with the two explanations. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. But I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not really sure, but I made some sentences. Uh -huh. So the fact is that I had had a mental breakdown thinking about poverty. And the fiction, I had made a million dollars that month, so I didn't care sharing a bit. <laughs> I like it. Actually, I like it, honestly. I like it. It makes sense. Thank you so much. Good ideas. Okay. Give you a like on that, well, uh, good um, ideas, good imagination. What about the other ones that are eight more, more connected? So I want to hear your ideas.
What do you have, Emma? What have you uh, written down? Well, I'm thinking a lot and I have some ideas and I don't know if, if that ideas are mm -hmm. good or not. Mm -hmm. Share it. Oh, well, the first one for fact is I had spent some of money and I gave to charity the rest of that. And the fiction is I'd ha I had saved a lot of money for many years and I decided to get it to charity. Yes, yes. Uh, the fiction is that you had a uh, fiction is something that not true, like it can't happen, right? Imaginary. Okay, so maybe you can add I had saved a money for more than what I say 50 years, and I had now a lot of money, and I, and I decided to give it to charity because you are not even 20, are you? So, I'm 20. 20, okay. So if I add more years than the one that is real thing, then it becomes something imaginary. So maybe if we add that part, it will be more fiction than, than you know, reality. Okay. So, but thank you so much. That was, that was good. That makes sense too. Okay. What about, let's see. Here we have like Jeffer, we have Jose, Gustavo, Alexander, Melissa, Evelyn, Daniel. So what do you guys have for this one? Or maybe, um, Jeffrey, what do you have? Uh, the sentence, I took all my money out of my bank account and gave it to charity. In fact, I have saved less than $100. In fiction, I have won the lottery. <laughs> Okay. Hey, I like the first one. I because that makes sense, right? That doesn't, doesn't say how much money. The whole money can be just five dollars, right? Okay. Like it. Very good. And the, the fiction, yeah, maybe um, winning the lottery is something doesn't usually happen. Happens. Okay, let's see. Evelyn, what have you written for this one? Number two, continue to think about number three, number four, and then we can share it. Okay, but every number two. Don't, I don't have a one for that yet. I think it could be, I have to, I really don't know. In fiction, I have, I have found uh, money in the street, so I, I gave it to charity, to charity, but um, I don't have one for that. Mm -hmm. The fiction is you had found money. Yes, in the, I gave it to the charity. And you you found the money, and then you what? I mean, you had found the money, and you deposited it into the bank account. That's the way. So, because the money was on the on the bank oh, account. Oh yes, I forgot that he's in the bank account. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Okay, let's see. What about the number it, three? It uh, could be. I have received a brown transfer, so I gave it to charity. I like that one. I like that one. Really good. I have received a brown transfer. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Okay, you see, this is what I want to hear. And then, well, good money. Boom, here, here it goes. Okay, and I can see number three right here. And I want to hear Daniel from number three too. I can see Gustavo says, I had broken the lock on the door. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, the... Okay. The fact. The and fact. I have the wrong key for fiction. 
Okay. Hmm. I had the wrong key. Sounds interesting. Even though the, the fiction one sounds like a fact. I had the wrong key. Mm -hmm. Sounds more like a fact, but then both sentences make sense on this one. Okay, and what do you have then for number three? I try to unlock my front door, but the door wouldn't open. What is it that you have? No, no ideas, you're not here with us. Let's see, Francisco, what have you written? What do you have for number three or number four? Let's move on, number four. I got many of these uh, ideas and I, I want to hear what you have to say. So number four says, I walked down the street with a crowd of people following me. So what can a fact be and what out about fiction? Mm -hmm. Any, anybody or Francisco, would you like to try number four? What have you, what do you have, Emma? Thank you so much. Did you say something I didn't hear you? Nope, I just said uh, we're going to move on to number four. Uh, so number four says, I walked down the street with a crowd of people following me. What can I fact be? So yes, I, I can see we have Joel. Okay, the fact, um, I had walked into a parade and the fiction, I had been in a musical movie. Okay, I can see. Yeah, makes sense. People, because uh, you, you were on a parade, yeah, exactly, people are following you. And the music is the one, you know, cannot be that true, right? Okay, good one. And do you have anything else? Let's see, I, I don't know if Emma raised um, the hand or I saw, I saw it. Yes, I did. What do you have? Uh -huh. And the fact I had stolen the wallet of the some people there in the fiction, I have been a superstar in another country. Okay, I like it. So you have stolen a, a, a wallet, you say, right? And then like a treasure hand, and you have it, people following it. Okay, I like it. And the superstar thing is also a good idea. So thank you so much. Let's finish this part. I wanna hear the one who haven't participated. Maybe, um, let's see, I don't know if uh, Joel and Emma are participating a lot. Jeffrey in a way has participated, but then I haven't heard uh, Francisco, I haven't heard Melissa. Uh, Jose, wanna participate please? And Daniel, what do you guys think about this? What about number number five? I arrived home completely wet on a sunny day. What can you know a reason be for this? Like today it was raining again, right? Today was the second day. I don't know if where you guys are, it rained, but here in my town it rained a lot. Not only um, I mean this is the second day in a row. Has, has it rained where you guys are or not? I think, I think I think arrived home completely completely wet, but um, but no for for rain for rain. Uh, is, is no for 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 other reason for other reason but not for rain because it's a sunny day. 
Yeah, that makes sense. And what about you know, using past perfect? The same idea, but now try to use past perfect. That, that would be you know, the idea of uh, using the structure, right? So past perfect. And you like try to like formulate now the sentence using past perfect. Quiero ver, he had, he had arrived, he had arrived home completely wet uh, because, uh, because take a, 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 a bath in the swimming pool. Mm, I see. And what about the... Past perfect. How do we make past perfect? We use past perfect, had plus past participle. Do you remember this? So that's the idea. Participle. Participle. How, how do we use had and then the very in past participle? Uh -huh. Oh, I, I think I had some ideas here. The, Okay, Gustavo's number five says, I hadn't seen it. I had been in, in a pool party. <laughs> Do those exist, Gustavo? Pool party? Or does it mean? And then, um, let's see, I had a fiction. I had a cloud. Oh, no. The fiction one is, the fiction one needs to be double checked because it's, it doesn't follow the past perfect. I have forgotten my umbrella. I had fallen into a pool for being clueless. Okay, I see. And I had been playing soccer and suddenly the rain came, came down. Okay, that makes sense. Fact, I have been splashed, <laughs> okay, by a car, not necessarily because it was raining. I like that one. In fiction, I had fallen into a well. Okay, yeah, that one is good. It won't make sense, right? If, if you really fall into a well, you're not going to be able to get out of it alive. You're going to die. Okay, Jose, I have been finishing at the, at the afternoon. I have been fishing, I'm sorry. When, it is the, when a storm start, started, okay. I had a ride wet because I forgot my umbrella. But it was a sunny day, right? So it's not raining, Melissa. It's not raining. Okay, uh, but then the idea is in there. So let's, we're gonna do this, guys. I really want you to practice. Uh, I know sometimes I can see you writing, but that's great. And then I'm gonna this time, um, maybe you want to screenshot this one and send it to the group if you would like to, because there are some who haven't connected. And then I want to go and display the next uh, options, but this time I want you to work in pairs and try to ask questions. How can we formulate a question using this uh, statement? And then what can one uh, explanation be, fact or, or fiction? But um, we're, we're going to use different ones, not this one. Let me share that with you right now. And let's see these ones. We have, uh, well, we have, um, this one, I think there are six more or yeah, six more. First one, I drove to the stop, to the shops, I'm sorry, and the roads were completely empty. Hmm. Next one, I went to the beach, but I couldn't go swimming in the sea. Number eight, um, let's see, Jose Peña, can you read number eight, please? Yes. I came back from my holiday with a with a broken leg. Well, yeah, wow, that was really hard. <laughs> Melissa, don't number go. Don't, <laughs> don't go, especially if you like beers. <laughs> number number nine, Melissa, read number nine, please. I tried to switch on my TV, but nothing happened. Might be possessed. Might be possessed. Number uh, ten, Daniel. Number ten. Okay, I woke up at five o'clock 
in the afternoon. Yeah. And can this really happen? Maybe, right? And last one, let's see. Uh, Emma, help me please, number 11. Eleven. I received an email from Katy Perry and fact mm -hmm. fiction, right? Exactly. So you might okay. you received an email from uh, Katy Perry. Now uh, we have these these options. Working pairs. Please try to create one one of each. Maybe uh, if you don't want to write it down, try to uh, make a conversation and say. Well, this is for me, this can be a fact, this can be a fiction. And then uh, I'm not gonna give you much time because I have another activity to do. Maybe five minutes in this class. Um, I don't know if everybody's connected because as some of you don't say anything. So that's really, but then I'm going to create groups and a screenshot this one, please, and share it to the group. I don't, I don't have access. We create. We have to. We have to write each one, fact and fiction. I would say, I would love you to write it down, but it's too much time. What about if you take turns? Okay, you might enjoy my pun. Okay, so you read the statement and I give my fact and now you give a fiction. Go with okay. the next one. You give me the fiction, I give you the fact and so okay. on and so forth. That's, that's gonna take little but not okay. much time. So let's try to make it as much as possible. Try to speak as much as possible. That's the idea. We are like in here, 10 people. So three groups I'm going to make in case someone is not speaking. And let's start working on this. Three groups of three. Yeah, here we go. Please, if nobody is with you there, don't, uh, don't stay there and or raise your hand. I'm going to go in and talk to you, okay? But then let's use this time wisely and because the purpose is of, you know, to speak. Here we go. The pitchan could be I had met Katy Perry on a party. 
Ah, uh, yes, in the fiction. Yes. Uh, okay, good. In fiction, probably everyone has gotten six. Six. In fiction, right? What about the second, the seven? Um, Did you finish, Melissa, Evelyn, and, and did you finish? I heard you speaking. There were some really good ideas. Did you finish all no. of them? No. No. <laughs> Which one were you about the last one, yes. But I, I heard you speaking using uh, the last one. I heard you saying. Yes, the last one. Mm -hmm. We started. <laughs> Because I, I said, wow, they finished already because I when I no. listened, you were you were actually talking about Katy Perry's one, right? And I was like, yeah. okay. I thought that you had you had already finished. No. Okay. Okay, let's let's go ahead and share. Because uh, there is one more activity that I do want to do with you guys, like the same practice, but I want to hear your ideas. Let's um so these are from six to eleven. Anybody who would like to share, raise your hand, please. Uh, this is number, uh, let's see, number six. One volunteer draw to the shops. And anyone? I know you shared that. I, I, I have one for, for number six. Go ahead, Jose. That's the attitude. Uh, Good. I, and it's a fact. I have been driving to the shop, and the roads were completely empty because we were in a quarantine. That is, uh, yeah, that makes sense. That is simple past. How can we make that same idea into past perfect? You say I uh, like the bird to be in the past, but then how do we make it in past perfect? That that's the that's the idea, right? To use past perfect had plus past participle. That was a completely fact because we know you know what happened recently. Okay, maybe let's formulate let's formulate that in, in the tense we're looking for. But then uh, try to think about it. Anybody else who wants to share? About the same, or maybe number seven to, to to move on. Number seven, it says I went to the beach. I couldn't go swimming in the sea. Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, 
I have felt a shark the last time I visited. It. And that is the, the fiction. And the fact is I had forgotten my sunscreen. Okay, that 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 sounds like a fact, right? You don't want to get tanned or burned, right? You decide decided not to swim. Okay, good. Number eight. Anybody else? I came back from my holiday. Jeffer. Sorry, teacher. I was uh, thinking about in the six, uh, in the six statement with because I was in the group with. Jose Peña and with Gustavo. And in fact, we was talking, I had dropped in quarantine. And in fiction, I had dropped in a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> okay, yeah. So it's a, it's a really great idea. We just say driven and because it's past participle, but then the idea is in there. So I had driven, you know, in, in quarantine and and also in this movie, right? Okay, I see, great. And what about number, uh, let's see, number eight. This, is, this sounds really crazy. I came back from my holiday with a broken leg. What can a fact be? Mm -hmm. Guys, any other, please? Let's try to hurry up. We don't have much time. Anybody? What? There are many things we can say. Why can this, um, what's a possible explanation to this? Just making things up, of course, but that's the purpose. Hmm. I don't know, but there are many things we can say, come on. Holiday. So, where was this holiday in a foreign country? What activity you could have done that you broke your leg? Now you're back. Um, who do you play with? Did you play with any famous athlete, or maybe, or did you fight with anyone? And this is the result. So, or maybe you were practicing extreme sports and something happened. You were parachuting, I don't know, you were uh, hiking. So many things you can say. Or in fiction, you can say I have fallen down, waking up from a bed. <laughs> okay, yes, of course. Yeah, that's a good one. One more idea from number eight. Anybody else? Or maybe not many things to say there. What about number nine? I try to switch switch all my TV, but nothing happened. Mm -hmm. What can uh, a fact be or a fiction? Or which one do you like the most from here? No, I don't like any, okay? Then choose one, speak English with me. I woke up at five o'clock in the morning. So what's the reason I received the um, email from Katy Perry? So what can be a fight and what about a fiction? Raise your hand to give me one more uh, opinion of any of these. Jeffrey, yes, please, thank you. Uh, with number eight, in mm -hmm. fact, I had suffered an accident and in fiction, I had fought with a bear. Okay, okay, nice. You see, I had suffered an accident and I had fought with a bear. Okay, good. Like in the jungle, right? Um, okay, awesome. Very good. And what about, um, let's see, one second. The last one, anybody, anybody, anybody who wants to try? Anybody? The last one? I had received a name from fake Katy Perry. Mm -hmm.
And any any other idea? <laughs> um, Katy Perry. In fact, I have bought tickets for a concert. In fiction, I had met Katy Perry on a party. Sounds good. Sounds really good. Thank you so much. I'm going to change activity. And the next one I like, but then is I like it. I don't know if you're going to like it because it makes, it makes, it makes uh, what it makes us think. Um, this one, we're not going to do it. Uh, and then this one I like because now we want to think about an explanation when, you know, or why we say these expressions. For example, and why did you say I'm sorry to your friend? Because I have forgotten her birthday would be one option. What else? Or why do you say I'm sorry to your friend? What did you say like in the past? Anybody? Or why do you say I'm sorry to your best friend last time? Open your mic and talk to me, please. Hi, Emma. Because I had spent all my money for his birthday. <laughs> okay. You had spent all and then you didn't have money to buy anything for, for his, for his, for her, <laughs> or for him. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? One more idea about the same. Why did you say I'm sorry to your, to your friend? last time let me see i'm trying to think about my friends do i do i really have friends let's see hmm, maybe for me my teacher uh-huh melissa I had visited different places with my other friends. You see, that's me. Okay, that's a good one. And then I imagine. Let's move on. What about, why did you say I hope so to your teacher at university, Jeffrey, at any place where you studied in the past, or maybe not in the past now, but maybe earlier today or earlier, or yesterday, I don't know. Why do you say, I hope so? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I have promised to do all my homework. <laughs> okay. I have promised to do all my homework. Yeah. Yeah. You're following the structure and it makes sense. Anybody else? Let's move on because there are more ideas. What about, why do you say, I can't to your classmate? Like this, these people right here connected to this room. Why do you say I can't? You can change the, the, the subject. You don't say, you can not simply talk in first person. You can say she, he, uh, they, it, it is okay. Or choose one from these ones, guys, because we don't have much time. I like the next one. Uh, why do you say thank you to your mother? You're still here, guys. Thank you so much. I thought that, that you had disconnected. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hi. <laughs> teacher. Hey. I, I was so happy. <laughs> Se dio la pulga, yes, I said, 
Yes, electricity. Thank you. No, come on. It's like five minutes. And then I wanted to hear what you were going to say. So why do you say thank you to your mother? You can say she had... She had a birthday dinner. Okay. Good one. Really good. Anybody else? I had eaten delicious food. Okay, that she did, that she cooked for you. Okay, great. Uh, what else? Because and, she had made a pie, made me a pie. Okay, yeah, nice. Thank you so much. And there are many things we can we can say with this one. How about, what about number four? What do you say? Uh, be careful to an old man. He has fallen down in the street. Exactly. Good one. You just stole my idea. You know, I had that in here as well. Great one. What else can we say? You see, we have some others. We don't have much time. Maybe please screenshot this one and then um, you can share it with me next class if possible. What did you say? That's terrible to your friend. Uh, what do you say? Why do you say that's very nice of you to your neighbor? Why do you say don't be stupid to your classmate? Uh, why do you say no thank you to your friend? Why do you say don't do that again to your dog? And why did you say I promise to your teacher? Okay, so um, Jeffer is really good at taking uh, our screenshot. So do that, please, uh, and send it to the group. I will appreciate it. Okay, and teacher. Thank you so much. And try to write any any like quick answer, and I I'll bring this up next class so you can share your um, ideas. Guys, thank you so much for connecting, and have a great weekend. And if God give us the opportunity, I'll see you guys on Monday. Take care and have a great weekend once again. Bye bye. Okay, take care. Bye, see you on Monday.